uh, dear conference committee uh, and participant professors, scholars, good afternoon. First of all, thanks the committee for inviting our team and uh, we are honored to have the opportunity to share and learn with you in, in this conference. Our team has a bone and soft tissue restoration and uh, reconstruction surgery department of the second affiliated hospital of Dalian Medical University. I'm very sorry that Professor Liang cannot attend this conference in person. And I'm a, a Professor Liang student, and I will share the clinical application and value of a new type of double layer artificial dermis in the treatment of skin and soft tissue defects at the tip of fingers and toes with you on his behalf. Now I will start my presentation. <clears throat> According to the latest statistics, there are more than 100 million skin defect patients in China every year. More than 3.5 million patients need skin transplantation every year, and the skin demand is more than 400 million square centimeters. The common causes of skin defects include birth, scalds, trauma, and some diseases like diabetic uh, foot pressure sore. At present, there are many methods to repair skin defects like autologous skin, tissue engineered skin, artificial dermis, and uh, allergenic skin grafting. All of them have their advantages and disadvantages. Taking autologous uh, <coughs> skin transplantation as an example, it has advantages of no rejection and uh, low difficulty of operation, However, it also leads to scar hyperplasia in the donor area and excessive trauma to patients. The artificial dermis used to repair skin defects is an artificial material composed of type 1 collagen and uh, chondroitin sulfate, which is composed of upper and lower layers and uh, the upper layer is a silicone film, which has the functions of uh, culturing water loss, uh, air permeability, and antibacterial. The lower layer is a spongy collagen scaffold layer, which can guide dermis regeneration and gradually degrade over a period of time. It is suitable for deep burns, full sickness skin loss caused by trauma, bone, tendon, and the tendon exposure and the plastic surgery. The mechanism of artificial dermis to repair skin defect is that, is that the artificial dermis is tr transplanted to the defect site. Uh, capillaries and uh, fibroblasts grow into the scaffold into scaffold from the wound base and surrounding tissues to form a scaffold new capillary cell complex. The degradation rate of double layer artificial dermis is appropriate to the regeneration rate of dermis, which not only provides mechanical support for new tissue, but also does not lose the function of scaffold template due to rapid degradation and can reduce and inhibit scar formation. After two to three weeks of full vascularization of collagen layer, free skin grafting can be performed. During the whole repair process, the new dermal tissue gradually replaced the degraded dermal scaffold. There are many cases in which artificial dermis can be used to repair skin defects in different departments, uh, like a uh, deep burn wound in birth department, a uh, partial tendon and a burn expo exposure, scar loosing and excession, uh, and uh, removal of birthmark, tattoo removal uh, in plastic surgery. Then I will show you our typical cases of using artificial dermis to repair skin defects. The first case is a male 
and 57 years old electric story of left indexed finger skin and the soft tissue defect of fingertip. The specific process of treatment is first uh, debridement was performed within eight hours after the injury and the day after and the, after the wound was cleaned and the granulation tissue grew well. Double layer facial dermis transplanted, uh, transplantation was performed in the second stage. <clears throat> During the second stage operation, the artificial dermis was soaked in uh, normal saline for at least three minutes to replace the phosphate buffer. According to the defect area of the wound, the artificial dermis was drained. The silicone film layer of the artificial dermis was facing up. The collagen layer was attached to the wound and the artificial dermis was sutured with the wound edge. In order to ensure adequate drainage, several small holes can be poked in the silicone film layer of artificial dermis. Antibiotics were used to prevent infection within 24 hours after operation. And the, dressing, uh, and the dressing was changed every three to four days. The infusion under the silicone membrane was observed and drained in time. Three weeks after operation, the silicone film was removed and the wound repair was observed. After regular follow-up, the photos showing on this page uh, as the as the affected fingers of the patient three months after operation, and uh, the following are uh, the other two cases. Case two: a male, two years old, uh, two years old animal bite of left middle finger and skin soft tissue defect of uh, fingertip. This is what we can say in the first uh, in the first operation. This is about uh, this is about three months after the operation. Uh, the case three is a forty-two year old male with loss of soft tissue in the distal part of left hand caused by mechanical injury. And the, these two pictures are the uh, two weeks after artificial dermis transplantation. After the silicone layer was removed, the wound was red and yellow. A taller girl's skin, uh, skin graft was given. And this is four months after a total girl's skin transplantation. The wound healed, the skin color was normal, there was no scar, hyperplasia, and uh, the, uh, the appearance was plump. We can know from the pictures after the treatment of double layer artificial dermis, all the affected fingers wounds reached the natural epithelialization and the healed fingertips were smooth, soft, and without pigmentation. However, in the process of the application of artificial dermis, there were some key points we should pay more attention. It is necessary to carry out the debridement of the wound before the use of artificial dermis to prevent infected wounds from affecting wound healing due to continuous exudation of secretions and inflammatory granulation hyperplasia. Artificial dermis should be soaked in normal ceilings uh, for at least three minutes before use to replace the phosphate buffer. Before covering the wound, it is necessary to identify the upper and the lower layers of the artificial dermis, ensure that the collagen scaffold lays close to the wound, and at the same time, ensure that it is firmly sutured to the wound surface to avoid poor epithelial vascularization due to slippage. 
the wound requires adequate hemostasis during the operation, and uh, the silicone layer of the artificial dermis can be performed drainage. At the same time, bandage the wound with appropriate strings so that there was no residual cavity in the wound so as to uh, ensure uh, the full contact between the artificial dermis and the wound. We should pay more attention to prevent wound infection and observe the vascularization of collagen layer after operation. Through our practice and experience in clinical work, we believe that artificial dermis has the following advantages. First, uh, the composition, composition and the structure are similar to those of human natural skin. Uh, second, it can reduce skin contracture and inhibit uh, scar growth. Third, it may cover exposed bones and tendons and it may become the replace, uh, replacement of partial skin flap transfer. At the same time, it, it would minimize uh, the damage to the skin donor area due to the thinner autogenous skin graft. Uh, okay, this is all I have shared today. Once again, I'd like to show my sincere thanks to commit for in, uh, invitation and all the uh, participating professors and uh, scholars for listening. Thank you.